Hey there, everyone. We're back with a, another run today. Uh, I have a special guest with me. This was um, something I teased a couple videos ago, but that video actually never happened. So um, I had some audio corruption issues, but I have Azumarill Fairy with me here today. Say hi. Yo, yo. Uh, Azumarill Fairy, good friend of the channel. Uh, helped me a bunch with my own content creation and is just generally one of my good friends um so they're gonna be watching over my uh my run you actually don't know i am um, you don't know anything about what you're about to see for this video right uh i do not know so today we have a very fun very interesting video uh where i believe the title for this video is going to be me showing a zoom roll fairy why force shield is broken <laughs> Oh, I already think it's a very, very good skill, so yes. I'm right there with you. But you're going to see some stuff in this video. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really fun run um, when we jump into it. Uh, the start of the run is atrocious, um, but that's also a good like thing to, you know, kind of showcase, right? I haven't, that you can always bounce back from a rough start on a run. So, uh, yeah, we will just jump into the video and we'll be right there. All right, so jumping into the video, we have, um, this is the reason why the run sucked at the start. Look at my everything other than the force shield. <laughs> it's just, none of it synergizes together whatsoever, right? Plus you have to use Magic Bow in it's like of Warriors, it's right, a yeah. notorious bad early game. Right, Magic Bow is just like, it is not a good early game weapon whatsoever. It has its, it has its uses, right? But man, it is, <laughs> it is rough <laughs> early on. Um, and then, you know, door, it has, it has its uses, right? But <laughs> it's like, I don't have any great way of securing kills on enemies, right? That, that, that's the main issue right now is I have light speed, which has a, you know, decently long cooldown. So, you know, it's a pretty rough start, but for the most part, you know, getting through it, I do have a, you know, a decently solid start though. Cause I get the 30 door, I believe here. Um, I believe I also get the two minute door in this run because I was like, I need to upgrade some of my equipment <laughs> um, desperately. So it's like, just, you know, get the 30 and then try and get out of here. I, I actually, maybe I don't because I know I go to um, uh, Promenade. Wonderful use of the door there. Yes, <laughs> uh, I do end up getting a barnacle. And I'm like, this is going to be pretty much the entirety of my DPS until I can find a, a weapon, right? Um, so I am using that with support and Barnacle, pretty decent damage, right? It's like, it's obviously, it's nothing crazy, but it is going to help a lot, right? <laughs> it does really well against, uh, shifty enemies like Kanji and yes. uh, it, Giant and guys like yeah. that. We will also see later on it. Barnacle has a very strong, um, thing that almost no other ability in the game has where it won't aggro enemies on itself. So you can toss it into a room, and if the enemies don't see you, the barnacle will just kill them. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a couple like that. Um, yeah. I think typically turrets will aggro, but yeah, it, it's kind of a grenade in denial almost, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and, and that's just a, you know, a really cool, interesting, unique mechanic it has. I do... Uh, <laughs> I think I get attacked here, but you can see I'm just holding the shield, and I will tap my dodge button here in just a second. And while I'm holding the shield, you'll see I'll still do the parry animation and be completely invincible during it. Uh, wish I would have done that, you know, on the first time he attacked me, but it, you know what? It, 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 it's fine. Thankfully, though, I finally find a shop of some sort, and I am instantly going to do an owl. Owl has very little issues. The only issue owl has is if you get hit, it's gone, right? But with Force Shield, you can just hold that up and be safe and let Al kill stuff. And that's kind of, you know, the thing that really can push Force Shield over the edge and tactics specifically. So Force Shield, so this roll parry thing. So when you hold it and you roll, you parry. Yes. Is that right? Yes. You'll do the parry animation, but the bubble from the shield will still be up. It's a, it's a really strong tech. It's the best thing Force Shield has that, like, it really turns things around. Also, my malaise starts getting really rough in this run. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> You'll see. Yeah. 
Great. Colorless taunt, which yep. exists, I guess. <laughs> Great. Really good. I probably should have just used the Spartan sandals, but I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't 100%. Sometimes for like Spartan sandals, you need to be in a certain mood, right? <laughs> yeah, Spartan sandals go so well with certain weapons, and then it's just kind of mid with others. Right. It's like you just sort of like you need to have the right mentality to run Spartan sandals sometimes. But. I do have, you know, I do have Al and Barnacles, which will make this curse, you know, pre pretty safe as long as I don't get caught by anything weird, right? Like, uh, like a Cleaver, for example. <laughs> uh, but with Force Shield, if I'm in, ever in any danger, just hold that up and let Al kill everything, right? <laughs> and from what I remember, you also get the, uh, you get the ammo back on Force Shield if you're able to uh, parry. parry correct? Yes, yes. It's a, so so you can like re refresh the ammo very well. Um, I do have thrown objects now. I don't really have like the synergy I need to make it work in this type of build. So I'll be rotating between it and Magic Bow. Still haven't found like anything great. I remember I checked the uh, weapon shop and it was just the worst weapon shop you could possibly imagine for this type of build. <laughs> uh, but I do eventually, like, it, it, once I get past uh, to the shop in Prison Depths, I end up finally finding, see, that's the tech again, making that uh, incredibly safe parry. But uh, once and I get... It, and it works really well when you have, like, um... Sorry, I was, I was just thinking, like, it works really well when you have, like, the maskers there and you can't see anything. Right, exactly. It's like, it, it's just, you can be completely safe, especially with a turret and support, right? Support just goes so good. With, same with Pardon Gift. I took it as like, you know, Al and Barnacle are just going to be perfectly fine. I do end up uh, getting tagged there, and I'll use a health pot in just a second. I probably uh, was a bit too paranoid and could have used the health pot sooner, but... It's tough because there's so, that, so, like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, right? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, stop teleporting in. But yeah, I lose a health pot, but it's not a big deal. Uh, I do finally get a hemorrhage, so I have a weapon, right? <laughs> you have I, a very good weapon. Yes, a, a very solid weapon. Thunder shield. I'm like, that's cool, whatever. Don't want to use it right now. <laughs> um, so I was like, get out of here. Uh, so yeah, I finally have hemorrhage, and it it, it synergizes perfectly with a build right like this, right? Because Hemorrhage's only real weakness is that initial wind-up, but you have two turrets, essentially, because they all basically a turret. Um, protecting you in worst-case scenario, you just hold up your force shield, right? <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I still stand by the fact that Hemorrhage should be survival, because of oh. just, like, it's yeah. amazing synergy with shields. Yes, for sure. Um, but it, I, I, I'll never complain about Hemorrhage in general, right? I'm just like, I'm happy to see it. <laughs> One of the most underrated weapons in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. So I ended up finding a barrel launcher and decided to put it in my backpack for Acrobata Pack just to give me more getaway tools, right? <laughs> barrel launcher, fantastic in the backpack just because it is such a large CC and explosion. Unless you get a knock back to you, of course. It's true. Yes, it, that, that is one thing you, know, you need to be careful of. This is where you're going to see the uh, barnacle tech come in where you can just toss that up. And it's just gonna shoot all those guys real quick. Great curse clear. Yep, exactly. Yeah, Barnacle is genuinely one of the better items to have in a curse. Uh, but I end up actually finding a magic uh, deck, and I love this item. And I never get to run it hardly. So I, as soon as I saw that in the shop, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this for a little bit, right? Have some fun with it. It's so good against. Um... Also, I love that scroll count. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, that, that was the other thing. Yeah, my scroll count is absurd in this run. <laughs> I really... Um, I like Killing Duck a lot. It hard walls so many bosses. Just by virtue of just, like, you can one-shot bosses with, like, Corrupted Power. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, its damage potential is, like, some of the best in the game by far. It's... It, it isn't, like, always perfect, and I end up uh, getting rid of it a little bit later in the run, but um, I, I always really enjoy playing with it a bit. Other than that, though, the build's starting to come together. I believe I ended up upgrading my owl, so I have a bit better of an owl uh, in my inventory at the moment. But get to the curse chest, and I have zero fear on this room, because, like, I have an activate owl and a barnacle, and I'm just hold the shield up, right? <laughs> Nothing they can do. 
Uh, the kiln deck, not quite as good as the one I found in the shop, so... You know, just get rid of that. And it's uh, not, not too hard of a curse clear, right? I have two great uh, items at clearing curses. And the super, super safe for shield. Pardon Gift also does super great in a lot of biomes, but Morass in particular is one of the better ones, right? Actually, I really like the synergy that you have with Killing Deck and uh, Barrel Launcher because they're um, one shoots a little bit slower than the other. So right. even if you have the Barrel Launcher fired back towards you, you can use Killing Deck to like... Exactly. And the Barrel Launcher gives Killing Deck time to get set up on really bulky enemies. I did find a Heavy Turret, and Heavy Turret, obviously, you know, fantastic. I un unfortunately get tagged by Mamatic there, but, you know, not a big deal. And then I rolled into it and wasn't quite ready for it, but... Is what it is. Force Shield does hard counter this phase, though, which is really nice. <laughs> that's really, that's yes. really Yeah, yeah. If, if I didn't get those two unfortunate hits back to back, I it would have been a pretty easy no hit, right? Because you just hold it up and it'll last long yeah. enough on the cooldown to do it. <laughs> so nice and easy. Uh, I do act like an idiot here and I walk forward for a second <laughs> and almost get tagged, but thankfully not too bad. So, you know, I took some I took some damage. I also ended up uh, going to the shop in Morass and getting my health popped back. So overall, you know, turn turn the uh, the rough start to that run around pretty quick, right? You got, you got most of your health back, though. Yep, exactly. So Ooh. decided to go to this nightmare. <laughs> and this, uh, one thing I don't like about this map is it is rough to find footage for because everything's so far apart, right? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it, it's not a big deal. That, that's just more of a, you know, an edit and annoyance. Uh, but I decided to play it safe with the curse and scout scout around a little bit. That way I can teleport right away. It's just, it makes me feel so much more comfortable not instantly dying to... Um, <laughs> you know, a blade shooter or whatnot. That was actually you taught me that. I started yeah. doing that. It actually is so. It, much it makes them. It makes the map so much less stressful, right? Also, walk up there. Didn't press a button, right? I just held the shield. <laughs> and the ammo is much better than one might think right yeah for sure it, it also gets an ammo increased mutation that's super common so if you are running it definitely reroll for that once or twice and you'll get it does it stack with ammo like the uh mm. mutation i don't know if it does now i know it used to not though um okay. so, so it, i i assume it still doesn't but i'm not i can't 100 percent say that uh but yeah part of almost the entire reason you come here is because of all the gear opportunities right so uh, I decided to go in here, check the legendary item, and a cleaver. It's like, take a look at these, but there's no contest in my mind. Look at that cleaver. <laughs> that, I mean, that's that's an excellent cleaver, and the best part is you can reroll that for the poison synergy. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so, took that. I also ended up buying a boy's axe, and boy's axe is one of the best items to have before a shield, because it has that immediate burst damage, right? You know, to be fair, it's one of the best items to run in general, but, um... I mean, it works both in, like, damage as well as, like, just exactly. regular... Exactly, and it can add, um, you know, bonus to root on either my cleaver or my owl, right? So, it just is a fantastic item and works perfect for this, you know, just quick burst damage to help secure kills. I, I, cannot, believe I, I cannot believe I didn't get hit there. Probably deserve to. Uh, I also got the very rare uh, 60 kill on that map. <laughs> so I, I would imagine that the challenge with using Force Shield is learning how to, like, normalize rolling. Yes. Um, it, it's also like, it, you know, it requires a little bit of patience sometimes, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Also, scroll count. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> absolutely going insane. This is basically um, Ice Armor at home. Exactly. Yeah, it, it, it essentially, you know, it moves like that super survivability of the ice armor into your second weapon spot um, and allows you to it, I, I in particular, I think it's fantastic with Al, right? Because Al, it's just like it's only weakness is if you get hit. So <laughs> use the thing that protects you the most, right? <laughs> any any uh, anything you don't feel comfortable on, like rolling through or dodging, just hold up, hold your shield button and you're fine. You know what's crazy is that, like, it's such an overlooked 
item in this game that exactly. like, nobody really knows about this tech. Exactly, and I, I, oh, I love, uh, I love, you know, bringing some attention to it. I do, I do think I, you see me grab it. Firebrands is the best item with Force Shield though, because it is just free damage that is super safe, and you can throw whenever you want. You get that Hakuto bow. Yeah, you get actually, really Hakuto bow is the other one that is like the best. I unfortunately don't see it in this run, but you know, I, I think if you can find Firebrands or Hakuto, you're pretty much set on just you know whatever turret you have in the owl kills anything. I never thought I'd see the day where Firebrands actually out outpaces um, Carbine. <laughs> oh, well, the, well, the thing about it is, you know, Carbine's also an excellent I item to use in this. Um, but Firebrand has the instant cast, which is a really big benefit of it, right? And it has better just like base damage. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's, it's really nice because the owl is going to clean up anything you need, right? Same same with the whatever your turret slot is. And other than that, you know, Undying Sword is not too hard. You can see I have some crazy stats going on Scarecrow. I decided to run support, uh, Crow's Foot, Disengage, all the way through Hand of the King. Just because I figured that was a good general set for everything. Uh, but what can Scarecrow do, right? <laughs> he, he legitimately does not have an opportunity to fight. <laughs> that is... Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. It, it, like there's there was nothing he was able to do in that fight and that's where like force shield really shines is because like with support a turret and an owl are going to slaughter any boss and you know 10 seconds max right <laughs> i love your mutation set yes um i i'm only thing that i would do is like i would probably do hunter's instinct just because yeah i i, I thought an owl right mm-hmm um, well, I, like, I, I didn't I think it like, makes a ton of sense. Exactly, because I, 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 going into late game, I, it's good, right? But <laughs> not, I mean, not I necessarily mean, with this build. Exactly, it, with this build, it's you know kind of a kind of dead weight. But uh, going through high peak, you can see I got a good uh, dual scroll there, so my scroll count is still just increasing to absurd degrees, and uh, high peak. Sometimes a little bit of a scary map with the long hallways, but not when you have an owl, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, because the owl basically scopes for you in the slow. Yeah, yeah, and demons are one of the scarier parts about High Peak, and owl is probably the hardest counter ability in the game to demons, right? Oh, that is so clean right it's there. It's so nice, it's so nice. Unfortunately, I only got one of my dual scrolls in High Peak, right? <laughs> I mean, I think you can only get one total, right? No, there's two. There's two uh, dual scrolls in High Peak. Oh right! Oh right! Right! Yeah, it's, I'm pretty. I'm pretty uh, sure there is, and I might be crazy, but no, 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 no. You're right. You get two regular scrolls, and two if you get all three keys, and then yeah. But yeah. Uh, pre pretty solid high peak. There's not a lot to show. Kind of just, you know, walk through the enemies and throw a firebrand, right? <laughs> I mean, it's high peak for sure. Exactly. Like, w once you learn high peak, it's you can sort of autopilot it. You just have to be careful as you're autopiloting it. It's a go very to the good speed run level. Exactly. Yes, for sure. Uh, go to the hand of the king. Not super scared, right? I have, I have the damage I... All, all the damage I could possibly need, and he takes a slow wind up every time, which lets you just burst down so much HP. Uh, and then I do believe I get tagged here by him in a uh, unfortunate wasn't just just wasn't quite ready for the animation. Yeah, I, I didn't think he was gonna attack quite as quick as he did, but Cleaver cleans it up and pretty pretty decent hand keen right. Yeah, that was tough because you have to deal with the bombs too. Exactly, I, I kind of got thrown off by the bombs and the flags, but you know. Can you do the, can you do the role pairing thing with bombs? Yes, you can. Uh, for whatever reason, I so, I sort of got uh, I wasn't sure what my uh, shields ammo count was at, so I I kind of hesitated. But you know, not not a huge deal, right? Yeah, I mean, you already. I mean, plus you had disengagement yeah. dropped yeah. and yeah. I decided No Mercy was kind of... I, I decided I wanted to go super, you know, safe with my loadout. And I said No Mercy was kind of the thing to go for Astrolab because Crow's Foot, obviously a lot of the enemies fly. Uh, support, I don't really need the damage. 
So it's like, it like I, I wasn't one hundred percent sure what to go. Um, part and gift. The enemies are kind of spread out on the map. I figured no mercy was just some good general d damage, right? Oh yeah. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's really not a very hard astro lab. Uh, Al obliterates this map. This is like the map to bring Al to, right? <laughs> I believe they were released on the same uh, patch. Oh, were they? Yeah, like, literally this, Al is designed to make this map easy. <laughs> Everything that's scary about this map, Al is just like, no, <laughs> I got you. But, uh, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, it's funny, though, because, like, the two, um, the the two uh, weapon blueprints have, like, no synergy with this map. <laughs> yes. In, uh, Sonic Carbine and uh, Hemorrhage. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, and... <laughs> you have to go through, like, the worst puzzle in the world to get one of them, right? <laughs> Are you talking about the one where you have to, like, roll through all the spikes? Yes. It, it's a rough one. Um, because, cause, cause especially, like, early on, when you're trying to do that, you're like, man, I haven't beaten the game a lot. I want to, you know, I, but I want that blueprint. <laughs> and it's always such a risk to go down there. It's okay to save scum, folks. Although I will <laughs> say that, like, after a while, it's not too bad. You just gotta yeah. duck a funeral. Exactly. And we'll, I've we'll, fallen we'll... down there so many times by accident. Yeah, the, the pressure is scarier than anything else. Uh, that was the final build. Uh, just a bunch of bonus to fire and a really strong setup, right? I went with Acrobat Pack as my last uh, mutation. I figured the stun from Barrel Launcher might come in handy. Oh, definitely. Right, I mean, and, and, and there wasn't anything else. I was like, maybe point blank, but that's not super relevant, right? So I was like, sure, I'll just go acrobat pack. And four shield's going to help against that down slam, I can predict. Oh, yeah. I just feel more comfortable uh, rolling and jumping over that, so I just went for it. It's one of those ones that I know the rhythm of it so well that I'm not scared about it. I love that it stuns. Do you got them all the way down to zero? <laughs> yeah, I, I've never seen that before, except in this run. Where... <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get the three heals, though. Yeah. You went up pretty quick. Yeah. I decided not to... I don't know why I didn't throw my cleaver here. I think I wanted to save it for the next room. Uh, but I probably could have just bursted his HP down right there, right? Yeah, I mean... But, but you know... I, right? yep. Does, you don't have quite enough ammo to do all three of them. Uh, so I, I always like to, you know, play it safe. And nice and easy. Um, and as you predicted, by the way, it is very nice for the down slam. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Perfect time, That's a, right? That was a fantastic run. Yes. Oh, um, so... I always love to preach weird synergies, right? That, that's one of my favorite things is to find those. I think that everyone, like, when they find something that works really well for them and is really weird, um, it, it's just, like, one of the most satisfying things in Dead Cells, right? Oh, for sure. Like, and, you know, I, I mean, you have talked about how good Force Shield is for a while, but I think, like, you've gone that extra mile and, like, really showcasing why it's, like, possibly one of the best shields in the entire game. Yes. Um, I, I genuinely think, like, it is the best tactic shield you can run for Owl. Like, there's no reason... If you have an Owl and you see it, there's no reason not to pick it up. Because it lets you enable Owl in such a fantastic way, right? What would you say to people, aka me, that have a lot of trouble running off-color weapons because it looks weird on the bottom screen? <laughs> that That is something that, like, you... Or, like, especially as you're, like, still learning the game, you just do not consider whatsoever, right, of running an uh, off-color weapon <laughs> in, in your build, right? Because why would you do that? You don't get the crazy stats. But some of the items, their utility is their strength, right? Stun Grenade, Ice Armor, um, Wave of taunt. Denial, Taunt, yeah. All, all those, it's like, they, they're, they're, strength is their utility. Taunt, obviously, it's just flat stat that is stupid and what it does um but yeah that was the force shield run uh i did originally have a different uh video planned to come out before this but i you know i had the opportunity i had this amazing run and i was like how could i not post it uh so i do still have um that brutality run that i promised <laughs> coming out soon i actually have it all recorded already i just you know 
I want to edit this one and send it out first. Uh, but thank you, uh, Zeno Fairy, for joining me. I'll leave their channel down below. Uh, please check them out. They make amazing Dead Cells content, full runs. And when I watch them, the, my favorite thing about watching your content is that you approach the game in such a different way from me sometimes, but you still win the run, right? So it's like, it's like, it's really cool to see just like such a different mindset of, how can, how can this weapon be strong and how can I use it in a run? I love how methodical you are in your runs. And I agree, like, that's actually made me love this game more because uh, my style of playing is basically let's scream into the void for about an hour, <laughs> hour and a half, and then let's see how that goes. And you're just, you just, you, you think about things, you plan things, and I really like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it was such a good showcase because you showed so many good things that synergize with force shield and none of them are survival and i think that's so useful for people to kind of get over the hump of running off color things yes yeah um i know back when i did a long time ago my um my 10 builds for every color to beat 5 bc thing uh force shield tactics was one of the ones i did <laughs> um and i showcased like from a video it was almost it was it, like it was almost an, an exactly the same type of build where it's like, I think it was Hakuta Bow and Sapphire Brands and probably Heavy Turret instead of the Cleaver because I got a legendary one, right? But um, it's like, it's, it's a really fun show, you know, finding those weird synergies, like I said. But yeah, thanks yeah. again for joining me. Absolutely, man, anytime. Um, I have done a couple videos with him on his channel as well. Uh, I'll link those as well. That way everyone can go check those out if you want. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me and I will see everyone next time. Bye bye everyone. See you guys.